All right, hey guys, I am back for hole number seven tournament guide here. And as you can kind of see, you know what? I'm going to just, while I'm thinking about it, um, just prep a few things. I'm going to want those basically from here on out. But uh, we are going to need a sniper. I am going to put on a half decent ball here. So here you see me with turkey ball. And I'm going to start unlocking that platinum. And we are going to jump into this hole. Um, now I am going with turkey ball. I want to see where it lines up distance wise. Um, I'm half tempted to, you know, go at this a little bit differently. Just to kind of. Um, get the ball coming in a bit slower and have a little bit more control over the ball to avoid running down the hill so here you're going to see me probably set up to do a little bit different shot than I have tried yet and it looks like I'll be going second but with the nice side wind um, I do believe this is going to be a manageable shot as long as you throw on a 55 percent ball to kind of hone in on the precision a little bit normally you would see me go off this right fairway like you're going to see my opponent do here but you got to be a little mindful of running this a little bit too deep so with keeping that in mind i am going to do this a little bit different in expert and because I'm just a little hesitant about like what if he does roll down the hill so look how close this is getting right to the very back of the edge and I just want to see where this lines up it looks like I'm right on the edge of max power here so right at, towards max power but you should be able to, especially with Sniper's Ball Guide, figure out exactly how far this is going to run out. And here you see me putting it right there on the hole. And aside from that, it should be maybe a six-ish ring adjustment. So there's five, there's six. A little bit of an over-adjustment method. Let's see what this looks like. Eh. Didn't really roll out the way that I was hoping. With it coming in... <coughs> <coughs> With it coming in a little inconsistent like that, to where it didn't even show like the ball guide, that's probably going to be the only time that... Uh, you see me do that now I did do this in pro if you want to check it out in pro it should be virtually almost identical so it's just kind of you know giving you a second method to just kind of look over so if you saw my pro account I think I did it with maybe a navigator ball and I'm assuming you know navigator and pro turkey and expert same tee box it's going to be roughly the same distance so you could pretty much use my pro shot if you wanted to see the bounce shot off the fairway and here we are getting to hole number four here for our second shot I'm gonna go just a little bit you know almost two and a half backspin on this hole and I'm going to shoot for about six rings here Pretty close to anyway so there's five there's just a little bit more I'm going to curl this just a little bit kind of try to straighten out the ah now I don't think the great ball like has much influence on where the ball actually goes it does a little bit but uh, in fact you could see it probably jerked it off over to uh, the left there which made it uh, kind of bounce a little bit uh, 
unusual, but uh, <clears throat> you know it's a relatively uh, consistent approach going off that uh, front face there. You just got to be, you know, somewhat precise with your ring calculation. Not necessarily like I've noticed you can great ball left, great ball right. Um, it still hits the spot. It's more about, you know, nailing that precision. So if I go, you know, five rings or whatever, and that's what the adjustment is, um, you know, I've been pretty, I've been pretty okay with uh, hitting great balls and it not costing me. It's more about distance control. As long as you land it about the, uh, about the right weight and, you know, play the proper amount of rings, you should be pretty good to go. Um, I believe I'm going to probably just go ahead and qualify here today. Um, worst case scenario, I am looking at, uh, you know, minus 14 with an albatross, so not going to be the end of the world. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep this because of the alba. If it would have been, you know, two eagles, I'd probably you know, have backed away, but I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. So uh, good luck with this uh, seventh hole there. Um, if you don't like that approach that I just took, like I said, check out my pro video, and it should be a very similar wind condition and uh, to where you could almost copy that identically. In fact, I'm going to revert back to that shot for round two myself. So um, good luck with that hole, and uh, see you guys on the next video.